Michael S. Gazaniga, who's in charge? Free Will and the Science of the Brain In the book, Who's in Charge? Free Will and the Science of the Brain, Michael S. Gazaniga seeks to unravel the mysteries of the human brain and its connection to consciousness, decision-making, and free will. The book summarizes the developments of neuroscience over the centuries, highlighting the progress made in recent decades. From the debunking of misconceptions to the understanding of specialized brain regions, Gazaniga delves into the roles our brains play in our social behavior, moral decisions, and ideas of responsibility. This book summary aims to provide an overview of the key insights and themes of Gazaniga's work, while making the complex scientific concepts accessible to everyone. Unraveling the Brain's Mysteries Delving into the science of brain functionality, this article explores the mechanics behind consciousness and the basis of decision-making. For centuries, the brain has been the focal point of contemplation in humans. While the understanding of the brain has undergone major transformations over the years, contemporary scientific discoveries have shed light on the perplexing functionalities of the brain. The 16th-century homunculus conception of consciousness governance was deemed insufficient by modern science. Contrary to earlier beliefs, the brain is constituted by copious circuits and areas working harmoniously, and selective parts of the brain specialize in specific functions. The human brain consists of a left and right hemisphere and a brain stem, with each hemisphere in charge of specific body structures and performs unique tasks that the other half is incapable of. Local circuits, separated by defined areas such as the speech center, share information at all times, enabling the body to operate and the mind to form resolutions. Studies on people suffering from quadriplegia have demonstrated that the damage to one part of the brain cannot be effortlessly substituted by another part. Nevertheless, the correct understanding of the mechanisms behind the functioning of the human brain is still at its initial stage, with much work yet to be done. Despite this, the current discoveries have brought us closer than ever before in comprehending this intricate organ's workings, which underlie decision-making, consciousness, and sensation. The Interpreter Module Our brains are divided into different areas, with each competing for attention. However, we still feel like a single, coherent consciousness because of the Interpreter Module. This module sorts through information and fills in any gaps by generating random stories that make everything seem logical. For example, a person with Capgra syndrome misidentifies familiar people as imposters because the module lacks the necessary emotional information. Even unconscious actions, such as a jump and flee reaction to a moving object, are interpreted by the module to provide a plausible conscious explanation. Our brains make decisions for us before we even have a single conscious thought, and the interpreter module helps us to make sense of it all. Free will, an illusion or reality? The debate between determinism and free will has always raised questions about the role of the brain in shaping human behavior. While determinists claim that our actions are predetermined by the laws of physics, those who support free will believe that humans are conscious and can influence their decision making. The brain's unconscious functions undoubtedly impact our choices, but conscious thoughts can impact the subconscious as well, making free will a possibility. Understanding the link between the conscience and the brain opens the door to accepting that humans have control over their actions. However, the complexity of the issue is multiplied by the social implications of free will, making the debate even more challenging. The Power of Social Bonds from our biological makeup to the development of morals, socialization has played a crucial role in shaping human behavior and survival. Humans evolved to form social groups for better protection and survival, leading to the acquisition of responsibilities, the development of social skills, and the capacity for language and emotion. Socialization also fostered the belief in morality, as most people exhibit similar moral compasses, guiding them to make decisions that benefit the majority. Those with unstable social environments often display violent and egoistic behavior, highlighting the importance of social bonds in shaping human behavior. The Evolution of Society's Legal System 
The legal system is a tool used by society to filter out individuals whose behavior is deemed unacceptable and evolve towards a more peaceful community. Neuroscience is also helping the legal system improve, but we must use scientific evidence responsibly. Human beings have the inherent ability to differentiate between right and wrong. This viewpoint is evident when considering killing a close friend compared to killing an armed robber in self-defense. But what are the underlying implications of following moral codes and laws created by human beings? One argument is that the legal system is an aspect of human evolution, designed to cultivate a peaceful society. By punishing individuals who behave violently or irresponsibly based on a set of codes and regulations, society sends a clear message about what is and is not accepted in a community. As a result, those labeled as criminals find it difficult to find employment or establish positive relationships. Over time, the legal system encourages individuals who better adapt to society's social and legal rules to reproduce at higher rates than those who cannot or will not adapt. The human race has domesticated itself over many generations by filtering out individuals who transgress societal rules, resulting in a more peaceful society where only 5% of individuals today actively engage in violent behavior. Scientific advances are helping the legal system improve, with neuroscience playing a significant role. Simon Pirilla's sentence was overturned in 2004 following the discovery of aberrations in his brain's frontal lobes, responsible for judgment and impulse control. However, the use of scientific evidence in the courtroom must be judicious and responsible, and not used to allow criminals to say, my brain made me do it, to escape penalties. In conclusion, the legal system is a tool used by society to filter out individuals whose behavior is deemed unacceptable and evolve towards a more peaceful community. Despite advances made in the field of neuroscience, society must remain vigilant in the use of scientific evidence, ensuring that exceptional cases do not become precedent. In conclusion, Who's in Charge explores the fascinating world of the human brain, offering insights into how our consciousness and decision-making faculties are intertwined with our brain's intricate structure. From the interpreter module's role in shaping our understanding of ourselves to the interaction between conscious and subconscious thought, Gazaniga challenges long-held beliefs and leaves room for free will. The book also delves into the social and moral aspects of the human brain, emphasizing its importance in our evolution as a species. As we continue to uncover new findings and strive for a deeper comprehension of the brain's functionality, it becomes increasingly evident that our understanding of ourselves and our society hinges on the ongoing discoveries about the brain and its relationship with our conscious self.